Hello, welcome back to another episode of the Armourer's Bench. Uh, in this video we're going to take a look at another item from the Tab Reference Collection. Um, and in this case we're going to take a look at a Light Automatic Rifle Competition Model Instruction Manual. Um, obviously it's for the FN FAL. Um, I picked this up in January last year at the, uh, the Las Vegas Antique Arms Show. Um, and it just caught my eye because of the, the vivid colour and then I had to flick through and found it really interesting so we'll take a quick look through um, and talk a little bit about what's in there. So as I said it is the Light Automatic Rifle or FAL and of course Light Automatic Rifle is the direct translation of uh, Fusil Automatique Légère and the competition model indicates that it's the, uh, the commercial export version of the rifle where it has only uh, semi-automatic capability. So taking a look inside we have the FN Light Automatic Rifle competition model calibre 7.62 NATO. Uh, this was printed in Belgium um, but I don't know exactly when it was printed. It says in the, on the first page here the LAR Light Automatic Rifle competition model is gas operated with a mechanically locked bolt of a type which has been tested and proved for many years. Its weight has been reduced as low as possible, compatible with good stability and low recoil, which gives it very great accuracy. But interestingly, at the end here it says, the lightness of the rifle does not diminish in any way the strength of its components. Very interesting that they've really leaned into the light um, side of things, considering you know the weight of a foul. On the second page, we've got some numerical data considering weight, nine pounds, seven ounces, light rifle. Um, length, graduation of the rear sight, up to 600 yards. And then we have operation, where it explains the, the operation of the rifle and how it works. A section on handling, filling the magazines, cocking the weapon, replacing the magazine or reloading, uh, unloading the rifle, and then a handy guide showing you how to unload the rifle. Um, it's a very short manual, but it does go into a, you know a fair amount of detail um, considering. Uh, and then we have uh, how to uh, adjust the gas system. So we've got the gas regulator, um, and it explains here step by step. And then we've got regulating of the sights, correction of elevation, and lateral co correction. And then in this double page, we have uh, a basic breakdown of how to strip the rifle and then reassemble it. So uh, it shows how to open the receiver, pull out the actual uh, bolt and bolt carrier, take the top cover off, disassemble the bolt as well, uh, adjust the gas uh, piston system and remove it for cleaning as well. Then a little section on cleaning and maintenance um, and then a note on um, parts. It says we can supply on demand at an extra charge foresight regulating tool, gas regulating tool, magazine for 10 rounds, a barrel cleaner, a barrel cleaning brush, barrel chamber and gas cylinder cleaning brush, rear sight screwdriver, barrel clearing rod, cleaning kit uh, to be placed in the pistol grip, sling, cover for optical sight with or without OIP scope. And then there is an extensive list of all of the components of the rifle um, so that you can order spares if needed. A third page there running down all of the basic spares. Printed in Belgium, um, but there's no date on when this was actually printed. Um, I'm going to guess in the 1980s when FM began importing the FAL as the LAR or Light Automatic Rifle. Offering it commercially at around $1,700. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. This video was filmed as part of a featured week, which is going on over at the History of Weapons of Warfare, where this week there's a focus on the FAL with all of the creator's content on the FAL being collected together and featured. Until Sunday, you can get 25% off your first month when you sign up with the code L1A1. If you want to find out more about History of Weapons and Warfare, which is a new site which collects together content from eight creators, including Tab, the Royal Armouries, Forgotten Weapons, and a number of others, then check out my earlier video explaining all about it, 
or just click on the link in the description box below and have a look yourself. Thanks for watching, catch you next time.